What's up everybody, it's Jimmy with Switcher Studio. Today I'm gonna tell you all about multi-views and how you can use them in all of your productions to level up your live video. When you're setting up a production using Switcher Studio, one of the most creative tools that you can use in your production are the multi-view effects. These are great because you can show multiple angles or assets on the screen at the same time. There's also some built-in animations for bringing them on and off the screen, so whenever you use them, they look really nice and clean, so let's check them out. If you haven't done so already, definitely go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you get notified every time we put out a new video about cool features like multi-view and how you can use them. Okay, let's get right into it. So here are some ideas for how you can use multi-views with Switcher Studio. So to add a multi-view effect, just tap on the blue plus button to open the assets menu and scroll down to where it says multi-views. And within here, you've got a couple different presets for the different types of multi-views available in Switcher Studio. You've got the number of sources at the top, two, three, or four, and then you've got five presets that we've created so that you can have multiple sources on the screen at the same time. So let's take a look at the first one, dashboard, with a number of sources set to two. Here you can see we've got a channel A and a channel B, and they're side by side. So you've got A on one side and then B on the other side right next to it. And below that, you can see that we've also got some parameters that we can adjust, like the gap between the two sources. You can also change the reflection that's below them on this one, so that you can have a more dense reflection or make it a little more soft. You can also change the gap between the source and the reflection in this case, so if you want to adjust that, you can move that around. You can also set a duration, so that if you want this effect to be applied slowly or more quickly, you can dial that in right there if you want. So I'm happy with the way that it works right out of the box, so I'm just going to choose Done. And now I've got a multi-view preset there in my sources panel. So to use a multi-view, first you just tap on it, and you'll see there's a yellow outline. But then in the live window, you'll see it says multi-view, select channel A and B. So what it's telling you to do is select which one you want to be channel A on this side, and which one you want to be channel B on this side. So I'm gonna select the source you're looking at right now as channel A, and then I'm gonna choose one of these full screen images I've already imported as channel B. So I'll tap on me, and you can see the label changes to A right there. And now I'm gonna tap on one of the slides so it goes into channel B. And if we look at the main output now, you can see that channel A is me there on the left side, and then B, which is a slide for a slideshow, is on the right side. This is a great way to have yourself on the screen while you're talking about a full screen image that's on the other side of the screen. So this is really useful if maybe somebody's scrolling through their Facebook, they're not just looking at a static image, they're looking at a person talking about the image, it's a little bit more engaging than just a image out of context with a disembodied voice. You can see me moving my hands and I can point at it and I can use some of that nonverbal communication to get the idea across about this particular image. If we want to swap out what's in either A or B, as long as the multi-view is still selected in the sources panel, you can just tap on another source and now you've got an option that says send to A, send to B, or solo it. So I'm gonna replace what's in B on this side, and I'm gonna tap on B. So now you can see B gets changed to that other image that I selected. And I can keep going through these as I select the next image, I can send it to B, and it'll just replace what you're seeing in B with the full screen image that I chose. This is a great way to do sort of like a slideshow thing where you can be talking on one side, but you can constantly replace what's in the other side with full screen images. If I wanna go full screen with one of these, all I have to do is tap on it, and then I can choose the solo option. So now I'm just looking at this image, full screen, that's all that you can see. Once you've taken one of those channels full screen, you'll see that the multi-view is deselected automatically, and it's just like you're using Switcher normally where it's one source at a time, just tap on it to switch to it. You can send any kind of source into this multi-view. It doesn't just have to be a full screen image. So for example, I'll do a dashboard multi-view with myself in channel A, but then I'll put the pre-recorded video in channel B on this side. So I'll choose the multi-view first, then I'll choose channel A to be me, and then I've got this pre-recorded video, and that's gonna be playing now on this side, right next to me. And if I wanna go back to me soloed, I can just tap myself and choose solo. And then now that animates out and everything looks really nice and clean and we can continue on with the show. A really good way to trigger a dashboard multi-view without having to use the preset is to just do a long press on any source and choose the option in the list that says combine. This will automatically put a multi-view together with the current source as A and the one that you just did a press on into B. So it'll automatically use the dashboard effect 
we found that this is just the most commonly used effect and we went ahead and just made a little shortcut that's built onto every single full screen source so that you can quickly create a dashboard multi-view out of it without having to go through and configure another multi-view effect. So let's check out some more multi-views. Again, all you gotta do is tap on the plus button, then you get the assets menu and you can choose the multi-views from the list. And let's look at the next one, it's called split screen. So split screen lets you have channel A on one side and channel B on the other side, but now you've got a separator that you can configure in different ways so that those sources can be positioned differently. So let's check out how we can do that. So just like the last one, you got this duration jog wheel so that you can set a specific duration for this effect if you want. You've also got a separator direction. So you can choose to have this at any angle that you want. You can just dial it in here, and as you move that around, you'll see that sources A and B are gonna be switching sides based on where the separator is located. So you can also move the separator left or right, up and down. It's really just based on the orientation of that separator direction. So for example, if I've got the separator like horizontal, I can move the position to all the way up to the top, all the way to the bottom, or if I've got it vertically, I can move it so that I'm pushing one source to be very thin on one side or the other one very thin on the other side. We'll look at some examples of how you can use this in just a minute. You can also change the thickness of the separator if you want just sort of a wider gap. You can change the color if you want this to just kind of go back down to being black or something just dark. You can have that in between. So there's lots of different ways to configure this one, um, but I really just kind of like to leave it to the, the regular sort of positioning and regular setup for it. Um, so let's choose this one for our example. So the way you can use this source if you want is you can choose to turn this one on and again, you just tap on what you want to be in channel A, so I'll choose me. And then for channel B, I can just choose this other source that I've got set up here. So what I've got is one camera that's actually set up right over here next to me and I could do a really uh, nice demonstration of a, a, of a product or something and I can still continue to talk to you and be speaking into one source but on the second source I can have this thing that everybody's looking at so you can kind of see exactly what I'm saying while I'm pointing at this um, and really all I've done here is uh, I've just taken a let me go solo for this one and I've just got a second camera that's just on a little stand like this so um, yeah, it's like really simple to set up something where you've got a second source and this is a really cool way to just have two sources on the screen. You don't have to lose, um, I've got a really nice zoom with this so like I can stay uh, filling most of the screen and also this fills the screen pretty well rather than doing something like this with the dashboard where I have um, a and B and you've got to kind of zoom out to see what I'm talking about. So this split screen can come in handy if you want to have a sort of more close up view and it's just another way that you can put multiple sources on the screen using multi views. So now I'm going to change this one so that it's set up to work really well with an iOS screen share. So here I can take the separator direction I'm going to make it vertical and now I'm going to move the position over to the right and I'm going to do something that looks roughly about the size of a phone screen. So now that I've got it set up sort of in the size of a mobile phone screen, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up this phone so that we can iOS screen share it and also have a multi-view where I can talk to you about what's on the screen with the phone. So um, let me add the display here on the phone as another source and I'll choose the multi-view and then I'll put myself in A and then I'll put the phone in B and you can see now I've got a phone on the side of the screen and I can basically do screen sharing of what is being seen on the phone and meanwhile I can stay on the screen on this side over here so that I can continue talking to you about it. So this is just another way you can use split view. You can really configure it and dial it in so that you can dive into using it in different ways. Um, I could even sort of do like a quick demo of Switcher Studio if I wanted to or some sort of application that's on this phone or maybe I can even do some like mobile game streaming. Uh, again, with this one, you could just kind of tap on that source and you can make it solo. So now I've got the phone full screen. Then I can go back if I want and I can add uh, both of these back. And then I can choose the source that's on A again and choose solo. And we've got a really nice, elegant, clean transition out of it. So here's another clever way we use the split view multi view. Uh, what we actually have is this video which has some audio attached to it. And you'll see that the entire animation and everything that's happening really exists down there at the bottom of the screen. And this will just stay just like that over there uh, with the white in the background until eventually it'll go dark. So here's what we're gonna do with the split screen. We're gonna take the separator and just make it perfectly horizontal. 
Now we're gonna move the position of the separator so that it lives just above where the top of the animation is happening. So we wanna make sure we can get all of it in there. Now I'm gonna take the center option, I'm gonna turn it off. And now the source that I'm gonna be in, channel A is gonna be locked to the top of the screen while channel B, which is where that pre-recorded video with the sound effect and the animation lives in, is gonna be locked to the bottom. So now what we can do is we have this call to action to remind everybody to go to switcherstudio.com slash blog, and I can show myself on the screen along with that call to action on the screen at the same time using this multi-view. So I'll tap on that new one I've just made, I'll choose my face for channel A, and now for B, I will choose that pre-recorded video. So now we've got the animation with the audio on it, and it's gonna be down there, and whenever I'm ready to go away from that, I can just tap on my source and choose solo, and then it'll fade that out with a really nice clean animation. All right, so let's keep going. Let's look at some more multi-views. So let's hit the plus button again, and we'll go down to the multi-views menu. Um, now we've got one called flap in here. This one's pretty self-explanatory, but at this point you can see we've got A on one side and we've got B on the other. This is another great way to do sort of like a presentation setup. So I'll toggle that one and I'll send you into maybe this full screen image and then I'll put myself over here in B. So I can keep talking to you on this smaller screen while you're looking at the content that's happening in the bigger screen. And if we wanna send that content to the full screen, we can choose solo. And now we got that full screen, a nice little kind of door animation to open it up. It looks really nice. If I add myself back in now to the B source, uh, let's watch how this animation happens. We'll choose A and then B again, and then it opens the door. Really nice transitions. It keeps it super clean. Um, it's not too distracting for your audience, and they get to see this nice looking, higher quality production because you're able to use multi-views with them. So let's go down to the last one. It's probably one of my favorites. It's called the picture in picture. So the way picture in picture works is you've got A in the background and then you've got a floating picture inside of the picture for the B channel. And what's cool about this is you can grab it with your finger, you can move this around, you can send it around the screen wherever you want it to be. You can also pinch with two fingers and you can increase the size of it and you can shrink the size of it. You can also use two fingers and rotate it if you want. So if you really want your video to be all crooked and crazy, you can do that. And if we go look through the different settings, you've got a pitch, a yaw, you can change. It really looks like it floats in 3D space if you want. So you can do some crazy stuff with this one if you really want to make it look like you've got a floating image inside of the screen. Even with like the way that it comes out of the box, this is really powerful. So for example, if you wanted to have those full screen slides. Um, I could choose to have the slides full screen and then just keep myself down in the corner. And now we can keep basically trading out what's in A for these different slides and I can continue to be on the screen. You can also edit this one. And if we go back and look at the format option, this is really cool. You can set this up to be a one by one square, for example. So instead of it being a 16 by nine source, you can make it a square that's one to one. And now what we can do is change the rounding radius on this so that if we crank it all the way up, we'll get a rounding radius that essentially makes a perfect circle out of it. So I'm gonna say we're done with this one. And now instead, uh, I'm gonna trade this out for these two. So now I'm gonna be living down here in this circle and I'm not gonna take, take up as much space on the slide. And now I can kind of trade these in and out um, and I can continue talking without filling up the entire screen. All you really need to see is me talking, but you can continue to look at the slides that are going on around. The key to these multi-views is to just get creative. Find different ways that you can put them on the screen. There's tons of different ways that you can apply these multi-views and make your production stand out from others that aren't gonna have all these cool different effects and composition features that we've got in Switcher Studio. Thanks so much for checking out this video. If you're not already, you definitely need to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's youtube.com slash switcher studio. If you're not already in there, go ahead and join the Switcher Studio Enthusiast Group on facebook.com slash groups slash switcher studio. Thanks for checking out this video. Let us know if we can do anything to help you at support.switcherstudio.com.